Hey guys and welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is Mokami, the environmentalist. Today I want us to talk about something that um, is uh, very much um, talked about and uh, in the field of environment we'll hear people talking of EIA. I want an EIA. Some call it other names that we're not going to talk about here. So I want us to talk about EIA. EIA is Environmental Impact Assessment. What is that? And who does that and why is it so mentioned every, everywhere so let's talk up let's start a series actually we cannot finish it in one video but at least we shall do an introduction to EIA so this is the, the part one of EIA where we're talking about introduction just what it is where it comes from who governs who does why it is done and such things so welcome but before we get started subscribe to my channel hit on that subscription button down there so that you subscribe to my channel and that means you are already my fan and hit on that bell notification thing down there that means anytime i post a video you are among the first people to be notified of the video and finally share this video share the links to this video share this video in your in your whatsapp group share these videos in your facebook group share this video on your social media platforms spread spread this channel 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 spread this channel to as many people as possible tell people to subscribe let's talk let's form a group let's form a gang let's form a tribe that is that talks about the environment that argues about environment that defends the environment that corrects people who are doing wrong that corrects the government and all these things to do with the environment let's be a tribe here in kenya and even globally that talks about the environment okay so spread share 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 be my share squad share 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 sharing squad or the environmental squad i don't know we should look for a name to call ourselves so let's get started what is an environmental impact assessment now we are not going to use any technical name we are not going to use any definitions any meanings that are usually on theory on paper on the website no you as an individual eh? I am going to tell you in a language that you understand, like in the simplest way that I can want to, to tell you what that is, okay? This channel, we don't talk about technicality and those things. We want to talk about the environment in a language that we understand. So when I get technical, when I get scientific, please correct me. Please hold me and pull me back, like, hey... So this is where we talk about the environment in a language that we understand, okay? So, environmental impact assessment. Environmental impact assessment, okay? Environmental issues to do with the environment, around the environment, things that surround us. Remember we said the environment is anything that is around you. So the envir my environment here is my laptop my camera my tripod my chair my table my my environment okay i'm inside a house so this is my environment this house is standing in a farm they are neighbors eh? there's a church neighboring there is uh, other houses that are neighboring us that is the environment that around here there is forest there are trees grass the animals that go around here that is our environment remember we talked about the environment definition of environment i'm going to link that video up here so that you understand so environmental so the issues to do with the environment they are of the they are related to the environment impact impact is an aftermath impact is a result of something result a result of a development a result of something that is going to happen for example i want to build a house what are the results that can be felt from me constructing a house i want to build a kisiagi tuseme kisiagi nataka kuweka kisiagi hapa hivi eh impacts ni results zinatokana na hiyo kisiagi for example as it is mealing 
kuna kelele ndio so if you have if you're living in the next room and you have a baby that baby cannot sleep because of the noise okay so the noise is affecting your baby that is an impact you're already feeling an impact that is affecting you so impacts are results they can be positive or they can be negative okay so a positive one is whereby for example i want to do um a dam in my area or in my in my farm once i do a dam you know once you do a dam there's like a microclimate that is usually going to be formed around the i hope you understand these things so what are the results you're going to get all leave that one you have you have built this house this house let's say it's five story or even six or even seven the moment i have finished building this house people have come have rented so we have about 100 people living in this estate so outside my neighbor decides these people will need skuma wiki will need nyanya will need all these eh? so one of my neighbors you know a home that was neighboring here decides to put out a kibadaski just up with kwa geti ya kuingia kwangu so people who are living in this house that are built by from her so it has created her an employment an extra source of income so she has benefited from my project she has gained some benefit true so those are impacts i'm just trying, trying to explain what are impacts now assessment assessment is going out and finding out their impacts of course the consequences you go out to find you get to books to find you are doing a research you are trying to think you are trying to brainstorm you are trying to imagine or to predict what are the results the so called impacts or the consequences that could arise from this project so now that is the what we are talking about and now remember they are environmental so we are only assessing environmental impacts am i making sense now that is the environmental impact assessment so this one is provided by the law here in kenya remember we talked about the two main laws we have here in kenya the two main environmental laws we have here in kenya i am going to link that video up here so that you can go and watch this video so that you can understand we talked about two laws and one of them we talked about the constitution of kenya and we also talked about mca environmental coordination environmental management and coordination act so it is the act that governs the environment and we said this act is what in its in its in that law is what gives nema the powers to do what it does and even gives uh, provides for the formation of nema it is the one that brought about nema and it is the one that empowers nema is one that has authorities and responsibility and functions of nema it is the one that says what should be done where we are going to talk about things called things that are called regulations so now they have said that we should plant trees how shall we plant trees how shall we monitor the planting of trees so these are the regulations so we have different of them we have a long we have a whole degree to to learn on environment okay which i'm going to do this slowly by slowly so now that mk that law environmental acts okay when i say mk i mean the environmental act so that act what we were, what are we talking about is the one that provides for an eia you understand eia is environmental impact assessment so it provides for eia it is the one that says in that act it is says that all projects should undergo an eia so what does that mean it means before i build my house remember we are talking about me building a five or a six story building hopefully soon before i build i have to do that assessment 
I have to try and look and before you build you have not you have just thought of building you ha ujaanza umefikiria tu hey na by the way akashamba kangu nataka kujenga manyumba so the first thing that should come to your mind is that you need to do an environmental assessment why because we have been talking and singing in this channel about something called sustainable development we want to develop but in a sustainable manner tunataka to develop lakini tusiharibu mazingira tunataka to develop lakini mazingira yaendelee kuwa sawa so so that we can know if you will be allowed to do that and so that we can be able to see ukijenga nyumba hapa what are the results what are the consequences the environmental consequences the environmental impacts ni zaito na hiyo nyumba remember if you building a house this place was idle did not have or maybe you are doing agriculture ilikuwa mepanda mahindi na maragwe now you want to do a six story building the that six story building say in total you have uh, how many 50 units say 50 nyumba 50 maybe ni bed sitters so itakuwa na watu 50 ama 100 ama 70 sio ndio so these people watakuja kuishi hapo he place hakuna mtu alikuwa anaishi ilikuwa maize and beans now we have people who are living in that the same piece of land so in that everybody in the house has is cooking so they are producing kitchen waste everybody has a, a toilet of course everybody is taking a shower kila mtu anaosha nguo anaosha nyumba there is waste that is going to be generated both liquid waste and solid waste so he place to miongeza the amount of takataka zinatoka kwa the specific place that we are not there before so we must make sure that the environment there can be able to handle that number of that change that is going to happen the the people are going to increase maybe from 0 to 100 all from 2 to 50 to 70 so to be able to manage to be able to 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 sustain to be able to hold to satisfy the increased number of people we must make sure that the environment is not going to suffer okay we do not want to develop and destroy the environment are you getting what i'm saying so that is environmental impact assessment so before you do your project before you start the moment you start thinking about you want to build you want to do a borehole you want to do a factory you want to do a dam you want to do quarrying you want to do whatever you want to do before you even think of starting in the planning phase make sure you do an environmental impact assessment so who does environmental impact assessment now environmental impact assessments are done by people like me so environmental impact assessment eias are done by environmental experts in this video we have been talking about environmental experts both lead experts and associate experts you need maybe to look at those video to understand what we have been talking about so they are the ones who are supposed you are supposed to contract them to come and do the report for you okay so i'm going to talk more about experts and what they can do for you and how they're supposed to do it for you or how you can be able to to identify one so we experts are everywhere we are people who are qualified to do these assessments we are qualified we are certified and we are licensed to do these assessments so if you want to build that is where you look for me so that i can come to your place see the site and do an environmental assessment remember after i have finished 
my report or in the process of doing my report i'm supposed to involve the public remember it talks about the importance of public participation and i talked about public participation in the video that i'm going to link up here the people the neighbors they are supposed to come in and participate in the process you are planning to bring up a development they should you should involve your neighbors okay they'll be part of the affected parties so you need to involve them okay so these reports or these assessments are done by environmental experts consultants who are in the field of environment make sure they are licensed make sure they are licensed and they have a practicing license by NEMA okay then you have done an environmental assessment what happens now after you have finished or the assessment has been done the expert is going to sit down and do an environmental assessment report an EIA report and this is what is going to be submitted to NEMA and now NEMA will go through the, the report it's a whole process and finally give you an approval or a license to go ahead with your project of course this license comes with conditions of what you're supposed to do when you're constructing if it's a construction eh? when you're constructing when you're operating when that project is in the operational phase and even when you're decommissioning the project how are you supposed to do these things so it has a plan on how you're going to manage the environment how you're going to manage the impacts the consequences we have talked about so it is very 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 important before you start developing do an environmental assessment that is what an environmental assessment is and like we said it is provided in the law it is actually even provided in the constitution of kenya because the government has a duty to ensure systems of environmental impact assessment environmental audit monitoring and so okay so that is I hope now you understand what is an EIA. When we talk of EIAs, I hope you understand what it is. And uh, then the next video, we are going to build more on EIAs, how they are done, how what projects needs to do an EIA, and so on. So subscribe to my channel once again. Share this video. Share these videos. My share squad. Share these videos to your WhatsApp group, to your Facebook, to your everybody, and tell them to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. But make sure to watch these two videos that i'm going to link somewhere around here or it's around here and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.